Hey, so I just watched the new Criterion for Bong Joon-ho's uh, Memories of Murder that just came out. And I was completely blown away by it, especially its ending, which the whole movie, how it was set up and structured, made me think it was just another average, like, mystery movie, but with a stellar, like, gritty crime sort of aesthetic attached to it. But the ending just wowed me completely, like, the reveal of what was going on. Uh, I don't want to say too much, but, uh... Yeah, uh, I'm always looking for ones that subvert your expectations, and this one had me thinking I knew exactly what was going on the whole time, and I was completely wrong. As a writer, that's re refreshing, because I'm always looking for ways to subvert people's expectations, because I always want my expectations to be subverted, because I find it boring why I'm always right, which is always the way it tends to go with these mystery movies. Like, this one was starting to remind me of Prisoners, and that was, like, one of the most predictable ones, but also one of my favorite ones. Uh, it was just a shame that that movie had the thing where it was the moment you meet the character that turns out to be the villain, you know it's the villain the moment, and the killer the moment they're introduced because of the mannerisms and the acting and everything like that, it makes it way, way, way too obvious that you figure it out way, way, way too early when it's supposed to be a twist. This one, like, turns that on its head, where you meet someone and you're like, okay, I don't care about any of the people we've met so far. This person has to be the killer. And it takes those expectations and really turns it on its head, as well as all the other, like, mystery movie conventions that you've known up until this point. It also, like, explores, like, the desperations of people, like, wanting to solve this murder case that feels like it will never be solved or isn't meant to be solved, that it's just destined to become a cold case. Uh, and I won't, and I'm trying my best not to spoil the ending here with how I'm going about this review. Uh, it, and it's difficult because all I want to talk about is that ending and how wowed I am by it. Uh, I also love its themes of, like, how everyday people, how we view them, and, like, how we think we can label people just from, like, a glance, and we think that we know everything about everyone uh, from our interactions from them, but we really don't, and there's things that they hide from us that we don't fully know. And then if we had to guess who certain people were, like, who would be a murderer or any atrocity like that, then we really wouldn't know because you never can tell. And that seems to be the main theme of the movie. Like, it could be any single person that you're talking to. Like, any average guy. It just it doesn't have to be just, like, an A-list actor that's, like, super rich and... Uh, like a pre-boy, because that's how they're usually portrayed in movies. Or they're, like, super ugly or something like that. Like, they can just be normal people, too. And that, like, pool of, like, so many people like them, but are not murderers or anything scary like that, just makes it so much more frightening that they can blend in in an environment like that and make it so hopeless to try to catch them. It's very effective. But yeah, just that desperation really sticks with you. Uh, yeah, so I definitely highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of Bong Joon-ho and great crime thrillers, because uh, it's a great crossroad of the two. And also, I'm going to warn you that not all of your questions will be answered. It's one of the more open-ended and ambiguous movies, but that was one of the things I absolutely loved about it, because I like. It, when a movie doesn't hold my hand, uh, sometimes it's nice to not know everything. But I will not elaborate on all the things I'm talking about because I don't want to spoil the ending of the movie. So yeah, I give the movie... Um, it, see, it's hard because with foreign language cinema, for some reason, I'm not the biggest fan of most of them. But this one I liked mostly with the ending... Up until that point, it was like I was liking it, but I wasn't loving it. 
But then with the ending, I was totally loving it and it totally elevated the whole film. So the ending tempted me of raising it to a nine, but the rest of the movie doesn't quite match that nine-ness. So I think I'll give this one like an 8.5. That's at least higher than Parasite, uh, which I think this one is better than Parasite just because of that ending, though. Uh, even though Parasite was like largely uh, like had more going for it. But that one's, again, like the middle act of Parasite was so strong. Uh, Snowpiercer still might be my favorite film by his of his. I think it still is, but this one's really close. This one feels like it might be his most well-made. It feels like it might be his magnum opus. I see why it's his most acclaimed. But yeah, I highly recommend you check it out. Thumbs up for me.